Hi, I'm Scott Shuttleworth from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Today we take a closer look at the reverse takeover deal proposed between M2 Group and Vocus Communications. For those unaware, M2 is the entity which owns brands such as Dota and Primus, whereas Vocus has traditionally been a telecom infrastructure provider for corporates. We should note at this point that both the Montgomery Fund and the Montgomery Private Fund have a substantial shareholding in each noted firm and that the information provided here today should be regarded as general in nature. The two main benefits we see for the merged company are a lower amount of subscriber churn on the M2 side and more sales for the Vocus side. Let's start with the former. Vocus owns a significant amount of telecommunications infrastructure on which internet service providers will buy capacity, i.e. bandwidth in order to run their services. By buying more capacity, an internet service provider can improve the quality of its service, but it comes with the cost of reduced profitability. This is especially important in a world where services such as Netflix are becoming an everyday part of our lives, and demand for data is growing by double digits every year. By improving performance, theoretically, an internet service provider can keep its customers happier, which encourages those already using the, their service to stay, as well as enticing new customers. The math is a little tricky, but if the merge firm can pull this off, we expect it to grow its customer base at a significantly higher rate than that of history. Our second main benefit stems from, the, from M2's large sales force, which will now have the opportunity to sell Vocus products to the 250,000 small to medium enterprises around the country. Traditionally, Vocus has sold its fibre and data centre products to large corporates with 20 to 200 employees. So whilst uh, smaller enterprises' requirements may be less lucrative for Vocus slash M2 on an individual basis, we expect that the greater SME numbers will offset this shortfall. We also know that incremental EBITDA margins earned on the Vocus Fiber can be north of 50%, which drives strong earnings growth over time. It's difficult to put hard numbers around the, the latter opportunity, but based on some rough, rough estimates, we expect that the merge firm will have bright prospects and be worth significantly more in the future. That's all for this week. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll look forward to seeing any comments that you have.